Okay, so hello students. So ngayon naman, ang ating i-discuss is about conduction pa rin. Pero sa composite and homogeneous cylinder wall na. Sa cylindrical wall. Sa mga pipes, tube. So again, ang ating formula para sa heat transfer sa cylinder wall is ito. T1 minus T2, wherein T1 is yung temperature at the hot side. T2 is yung temperature, kung alin man yung cold side. Then, R2 is the outer radius. R1 is the inside radius. Then, K is the thermal conductivity. L is the length of the pipe or the tube. And, pinakita ko na sa inyo dati yung derivation ng formula na ito. So, pakirecall, pakibalikan yung mga notes nyo nung nag-take kayo ng heat transfer. And, yung ln R2 over R1 equal din yung sa ln ng D2 over D1. So, depende sa problem. Kung ang given ay radius, ito yung gamitin nyo. Kung may given na diameter, ito na yung gamitin nyo. At hindi na natin kailangan i-convert yung diameter at yung radius kung halimbawa na naka-CM sila, tapos yung length naka-meter or yung K naka-watts per meter per Kelvin. Hindi na natin kailang i-convert papuntang meter kasi yung unit dito ng radius or ng diameter makakancel out lang. Okay? So, let us continue solving the sample problems na nakabigay sa inyong PDF. So, yung problem number 9 is an uninsulated pipe carries hot air from the furnace. The inside diameter and inside temperature of the pipe is 0.3 meters and 500 degrees Celsius respectively. The pipe has a thickness of 10 cm and outside temperature of 200 degrees Celsius. Calculate the thermal conductivity and the thermal resistance of the pipe if the air flows at the rate of 1 kg per second through a length of 10 meters and temperature drop of 10 degrees Celsius. So, ang gagawin ko muna is drawing ko yung figure para mas madali nating ma-imagine yung situation na binigay. Okay? So, ito na yung ating figure. Meron tayo ditong pipe. Yan. Ito yung kanyang outside diameter, yung mas malaking diameter, syempre. Then, ito yung inside diameter ng pipe, D1. Dito yung outside diameter. Yung thickness, ilet natin as X. And, inside the pipe, nagkakarry ito ng hot air. So, may hot air dun sa loob. Kaya, yung temperature dun sa uh, inside surface ng pipe is 500. Mas mainit kumpara dun sa outside surface, which is 200. Now, ang pinapahanap is yung thermal conductivity and yung thermal resistance. If given yung ating mass flow rate, which is 1 kg per second, mass flow rate ng air na pumapasok dun sa loob ng pipe. Then, yung pipe is may length na 10 meters and yung air is may temperature drop of 10 degrees Celsius or may change ng temperature. Pag sinabi natin temperature drop, bumaba ng 10 degrees Celsius. So, mayroong change na 10 degrees Celsius. Then, ano pa yung mga given? So, i-note ko lang dito, si D1, yung inside diameter is 0.3 meters. Then, merong uh, thickness X na 10 cm. Okay. So, dahil meron tayong uh, inside diameter and merong thickness, we can solve for D2. So, kung titingnan natin yung figure, ito yung inside diameter. Ito yung thickness X. And para makuha natin yung outside diameter, so yung inside diameter plus dalawang thickness. So, D2 is D1 plus 2X. Now, let us substitute. So, 0.3 meters dahil yung ating thickness ay naka-CM, i-convert natin papuntang meter para kapares ng unit ng D1. So, 2 times 0 0.10. So, 2 times 0 0.1 is 0.2 plus 0.3. Si D2 ay equivalent sa 0 0.5 meters. So, meron na tayong D2. Then, anong sunod natin gagawin? We are going to compute for the thermal conductivity. Saan natin masosolve yung thermal conductivity? So, kung dito natin yung gagamitin sa formula na ito, kailangan natin ng Q. Pero, wala namang given na Q. Saan manggagaling yung Q? Saan manggagaling yung Q? Manggagaling ang Q doon sa air na kinekerry ng pipe. Kasi, yung heat na nireject ng air dito, i-absorb naman ng pipe. Okay, so yung init na galing dun sa air, ito yon, ito na yung temperature na 500. 
yung init dito or yung heat dito, yung energy na galing dun sa air ay i-absorb nitong pipe. So, walang losses na mangyayari. Ibig sabihin, yung ating equation, yung Q galing sa air is equal dun sa Q ng ating pipe. Okay. So, yung ating solution, dito kayo susulat sa sunod na pap Okay, so now, ano po ang gagamitin nating formula para sa heat transfer dun sa air? So, yung formula niya, meron tayong mass flow rate, may change ng temperature, is M C P delta T. And yung Q ng pipe is yung ating formula kanina for uh, homogeneous cylindrical wall, T1 minus T2 over LN ng D2 over D1. Diameter yung gagamitin ko kasi diameter yung given. Divided by 2 pi KL. Okay. So, ito yung ating formula. Now, uh, check natin kung meron tayong lahat ng given. Except for the thermal conductivity kasi yung hinahanap. May mass flow rate. CP ng air. Yes, alam natin ang CP ng air. Delta T. T1, T2, D2, D1. Uh, and... Uh, yung length. Okay. So, masasolve natin si thermal conductivity. Let us substitute. So, si mass flow rate is 1 kilogram per second. Sa substitute ko na lang diretso. So, nung na-substitute natin, ito na yung lumabas na equation. Maka-cancel out yung unit na ito. Yan, yung change ng temperature. Cancel ito, cancel ito. So, cancel lang kilogram, kilogram, Okay, so kilojoules per second is equivalent to kilowatts. So, ang magiging unit is kilowatts per meter per Kelvin. Now, using our calculator, let us solve for the thermal conductivity. And the answer is 2.7268 times 10 raised to negative 4. So, medyo maliit siya kasi nga, ang unit natin is na kilowatts per meter per Kelvin. And wala namang in-specify na unit doon sa problem. So, okay na yan. Then, sunod na question is the thermal resistance of the pipe. Paano natin kukuha yung, res kukuha yung resistance? Again, ang general formula para sa heat transfer, pag pinag-uusapan natin yung conduction, is Q is yung change ng temperature divided by the total thermal resistance. Ito yun. So, ibig sabihin, yung nasa denominator, yun na yung thermal resistance. Kaya dito, sa cylindrical wall, ang ating thermal resistance is ito. Ln ng dito over D1 divided by 2 pi K L. Now, let us solve for the resistance. Dahil meron na tayong thermal conductivity, masasolve na natin yung resistance R. So, ang ating uh, outside diameter, 0.5, inside 0.3, divided by 2 Pi, thermal conductivity, 2.7268 times 10 raised to negative 4. Then, ang um, ating length is 10 meters. So, again, ito ay R. So, ang unit niyan would be uh, delta T over Q. Ang unit ng delta T over Q. So, Kelvin over kilowatts. Kasi yung Q natin dito is nakakilowatts. Now, solving for R... Lumalabas na ang sagot is equal to 29.8151. Okay. So, this is our thermal resistance. Again, ang unit nito is temperature, Kelvin, over yung Q, which is naka-kilowatts. So, ito na yung final answer.